Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be playing Silent Hill The Short Message. This is coming straight off the back of the PlayStation Showcase where they showcased a whole load of games. But this one caught my interest because I've never played the Silent Hill franchise before. I have no idea what the lore is. The only other Silent Hill game I played back in the day was PT which was like a short demo that came out in 2015. So now they released a new short Silent Hill game and it looks really interesting. So sit back, relax and let's have some fun. I don't know how long this game's gonna be but we'll see. <laughs> If you feel that you are at risk of suicide or self-harm, please seek medical and or professional advice, treatment and or support from experts in the field of suicide and self-harm prevention. If you need immediate assistance, please contact a local hotline or hospital. If you notice someone around you who appears to be struggling, try talking to them. One brave step can save lives. And there's the details over there. Seeking a connection with others. Is a sign of weakness. Whoa. It's running away. A bit deep. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone. Mm. And need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. I can see that. <laughs> There's no beauty in living like that. I can agree with that. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. I guess we do need support. We, we do need friends, you know. Yeah, so that's me. My teenager. Getting all foggy now. Oh, that's what happens in Silent Hill, it gets foggy. Whoa. Well, at least I have my smartphone. Look at the graphics. But wasn't I just? Huh. I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Sure. Oh yeah. Maya told me to come here. Maya told me to come to this place. I'm, I'm not too sure Maya knows what she's doing because this looks terrible. Is that a drawing? Look at the graphics. Look at that chair. Look at the detail on that chair! That's one pretty looking chair, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. Wowzer. This is, this is already a nightmare, it's an office. Welcome to the city of hope. Or well, city of no hope. You suck. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's this? This model. Is it this building? Oh, this is where I am now. Can I zoom in? I can. Oh, so I was there. And now I'm here. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Never mind. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got started for a second. I, I thought there was some person staring at me, but this is a, it's just a painting of a dude pulling bars. Okay. It's a cool painting, though. It looks really cool. What's this? The plan to rebuild Kettenstadt in overview. Kettenstadt, a town with a long history, has a thriving border stronghold. In recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving in mass, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstadt and restore it to its former glory with the help of the Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstadt. Huh. Okay. So they want to rebuild this place. I see. Kettenstadt. So we're in Germany. Kettenstadt sounds like a German name. 
Plans to rebuild Ketan start have suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild two failures due to unfortunate external circumstances. Kettenstadt has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area. But as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. So interesting. So COVID, oh, okay, so this takes place in today. Whoa, this is actually the first video game that I've seen that acknowledges COVID-19. That's crazy. That's cool, actually. Wow. Okay. And this place just opens doors by itself. Where are you, Maya? Where are you, Maya? Tell me where you are. Okay. Oh, great. It's locked. Maya! Open his door. Huh. Ah! Baby. I don't like baby doll. Baby doll evil. You evil doll. You, you. I know you. I know you. You know me. You evil doll. Flowers. In the refrigerator. No exit. I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Stop thinking. I'll try to do that every day. September 28th, 2021. Notice our provincial meeting to all the villa residents. We have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. Huh. This is a disgrace. I want a refund. Give me my refund. Ooh. Look at the paintings. Maya? More baby. Baby bad. Baby. I bet you at some point these babies are going to attack me, bro. I promise you. Baby dolls. They're the most terrifying thing on this planet. I'll tell you that for free. Don't be manipulated. Believe in our senses. Okay. We shall believe in our senses. We'll repaint it all. Okay. Uh huh. Whoa, look at that painting. Oh, okay. For a graffiti artist, spray paint and a blank wall are all you need. In Kettenstadt, the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas of several artists, with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that the name is CB, which is short for cherry blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comments, keeping her eyes fixed on a new piece. She had this to say, All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside but can't show it on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least the desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. CB. I couldn't be more different. CB. Did Maya do this? CB. Ah, that's Cherry Maya. Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's. Amazing. This city is a blank canvas, begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. Oh, is that gameplay? It's not gameplay, right? I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. Whoa. That's not gameplay. What are you hiding inside? I don't know. Many things, to be honest. <laughs> don't worry about what people think. Be proud. Okay. I'll be proud. 
How could I ever be proud of myself? Hey man, don't be so hard on yourself, man. Alright. It's a cool room though. Dead end ahead. Ah ah! Why are your babies? Oh no, 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 Maya, I'm sitting with the paintings here. I'm not leaving this room. No way. It is crying, laughing babies out here, and the edges fall off this baby. This is terrifying. What the hell? Wait. Baby. Baby. Okay. Why is there blood on the floor now? Baby head fall on the floor with blood. Okay. Whoa, that's creepy. Creepy painting. Oi! There? Huh? Amelie. I I've no idea how you pronounce her name. Amelie, you alright? You asleep? You still asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see you at your job yesterday. Still not feeling good? You're taking your meds. Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I can actually kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. <sighs> that's a relief. Amelie. I think that's a name, Amelie. <laughs> I struggle with names, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. Whoa. Insane, creep, you moron, insane, stupid, creep, dumb, freak. Ugh. Okay, this is a bit What's with this sad. Place? Why all the sticky notes? Whoa. Loser! Stupid! Liar! Crazy! Cry, baby! Ugly! I hate you, dumb! Jeez. She never said anything nice. She hates herself that much. To go around and just write sticky notes and plaster it everywhere. I mean, I hate myself sometimes, but I don't think I hate myself this much to be planting sticky notes all over the place. Jeez. Even the chair. Even the vinyl player. Who the hell plants sticky notes on the vinyl player? What's wrong with you? What's this? Child abuse, neglect, and kitten stuff. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kittenstadt last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. Eesh. My mom loved me. Child abuse, eh? That's terrible. Okay. Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. Uh, well, we need to take more, okay. Oh, whoever this room is, this clearly is not working. We need to see a therapist or something, man. This is insane. Get help! Because this ain't right, man. Oh. Uh. Cockroaches. You don't like cockroaches? No, no. Ugh! Blood! There's blood on the... And there's a blade. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, guys, 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 listen to me. If you guys ever do this, or if you ever plan on doing this, please seek help. Okay? You can't be doing stuff like this is. Hey, nah, that's not right, man. Ah, ah, no, hey. Hey, 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 stop, stop, I'm sorry, stop, stop, bro. Oh, jeez, bro, mom. Oh, this is a horror game, man. This is just depressing. What the flip? Nah, man. Oh, bro, get me out of here. Get, please, get me out of here. Wait, toilet check. Okay, there's no poo poo in the toilet. There's no water in the toilet either. Bro, this is sad. Ugh. Amelie. 
What about you, Anita? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That's what I was saying. That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. Those guys deserved it. They feel bad, you know. All of them. Oh jeez. What's that? Hmm. Maya? That boy. Why? What's happened? Hello? Hello? Huh? Huh? What? What is that? What is that? What? Who's it? What's that thing? What is that thing? Huh? Oh! 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 Open the door! Open the door! Open! Oh, what the flip is it? Run, 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 run! What the flip is that thing? No, 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 no! Oh! Am I safe? No, he's not safe. Did it even go? What the fuck was that thing? No, you're not safe. Get up! Huh? Oi! Where is he? Wait, Maya. I want to show you something. Can you come? You yeah? I'm in the studio. Maya. There's a monster here. You okay? Maya, what the flip? What? Who is that? Is that your friend, Maya? Maya, what the... Who, who, who the hell are you invited to this place? Teenage suicides continue at infamous bowling. A rundown apartment complex in Kettenstadt has become known for its suicides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Oh, jeez. Despite repeat events, the building abandoned ever since the development management company declared bankruptcy remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the bowling's grim reputation though, with many continuing to enter, and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Oh no. Please. Not Maya too. Hey. She has been acting weird of lately. Oh no, so this is practically like a suicide bowling, man. Oh jeez. Maya, what are you doing, huh? Why, why are you bringing me to this building? Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Okay. Why is she not replying? Come on! Ooh. I have to find her. Oh no. Maya, I don't like this place, huh? Oh no! Do you want me to go out there again? Ain't no way, bro. Oh, it's all foggy outside. Fine, fine, fine. I'll leave. I'll leave. I think that monster's not here. Okay, monster! Monster. That monster. It's gone, right? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Where is the studio? I'm crapping myself as well. You're asking me. Whoa. Oh, the famous suicide spot. Yeah. It's all foggy. Jeez. Look at this place. It's just depressing. 
Ugh. Okay. Can I go to the suicide spot? No, I can't. I was down there earlier. Is there anything for me to read over here? Oi! That chair just moved by itself. What's this? Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the rescued selfies they posted online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater the anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experience after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Ugh. Okay, well that is true. People do random stuff for likes, man. Okay. Trash room. Should throw myself in there. Hopefully the monster's not here. Monster! I don't want to play a game. Oh, creepy. This is creepy. Oh, yeah. I hope you're all right. Oh, jeez. I hate these long hallways, man. Ah, uh, Maya, don't. Uh, Amelie. Ah, uh, by the way, thought any more about college. I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way. I'll come back occasionally. My parents will give me crap if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got him. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Only okay. He doesn't get it. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. It might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. I'm scared of Maya. There's no <laughs> way out. You're trapped here, man. Maya is scaring me, bro. Maya, did you graffiti everything here? CB. You in here? Maya! Maya, are you here? Please, Maya, show yourself. I'm scared. Of what was that thumb? Is this your studio? Sketch and boof. I think that means sketchbook. Okay. Let's have a look here. Are these Maya's sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. They look awesome. Whoa. They seem happy. A new life. A new life. So full of life. Oh. Maya? Are you Maya? here? Where are you? This place is dangerous. 
We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Why won't she reply? Where are you? What? Am I going crazy? Bro, what if you in her head? That'll be creepy. Maya! Okay, I've had enough of your games. I'm terrified. Okay. Ultimately, I'm crapping my- Ah! It's- Oh! Oh. Hello. It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Did you post this too? Quite popular. I lost followers again. <laughs> Join the party, man. <laughs> Welcome to reality. Some new followers here. I need to upload stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. Sexy. Loving it. Stop with the boring photos already. No sexy stuff, no followers. Wow, you hate your followers? Congrats on reaching your follower goal. Come on, we want sexy stop. pics already. Just stop, please! Jeez. I'm sorry. You have your own situation to deal with. I was out of line. I was thinking selfishly. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I, I I shouldn't have gotten mad like that. Thanks, Anita. I guess I haven't accepted Maya's death yet. What? Huh? Why did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Huh? Maya's... Dead. Hey, why am I here then? Wait, Maya's really dead? What? Why am I here? Uh, how? How could I forget that? Are you alright, Anita? Hello? Hello? Am I in my head? Is this building my head? Who's this? Find it. Huh? Who? Mate, I am... I am confused. I have no idea what the hell is going on. I am... Okay. Well, clearly social media has gotten the best of me. And now we got this thing happening. Oh shoot! Whoa! 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 Whoop! 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 Time to go! Time to go! Time to go! Time to go! Time to run! Come on! Come on, buddy! Ah, oh, these people back! Oh, it's no! 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 <laughs> No, 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 not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. I have no idea. All I know, all I know, you gotta run. You gotta run. Chase. Okay. We're outside. Fresh air. Okay. Reset.
had died. But her art lives on. Even more followers. Huh. Oh. You know when someone dies, you get, you, they gain followers? No one is ever going to notice me. Oh no. Oh jeez, no, hey! This is where I jumped from. Bad things happen because of you! Maybe I can be like her. No! Hey, yo! Here goes. No, stop! Stop! Stop, bro! No, hey! No! Step back! Foot back! No! Ah! Bro! Hopefully there's like a trampoline at the- Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Are you complaining? That's a good thing. You don't want to die. <laughs> Maya. You find it. Find what? Can't leave till you find it. This really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead. You're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the hell is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me! <laughs> Okay. Oh, jeez. We're back here, aren't we? Oh no, my battery. Well, got no flashlight. Great. And again, some light over here. Oh, great. This just became more haunting. Okay. Bad girl gets an empty plate. What? Okay. It's it's all your fault. Uh, this is all your fault. Bad things happen because of you. Bro, why did it sound like that? This is all your fault. Bad things happen because of you. <laughs> Okay, Maya. I don't like this. Baby got its head on again. That's good. Ba baby has it. Maya, I'm scared. Ugh. Okay. Uh, what? Who would do this? I hear something on the left of me. Okay. Baby. I beat you up. Those cockroaches. Okay. Okay. You got this. Hello? Housekeeping. Hello? It's a dude with the trash bag on his head. Or oh, mannequin. Wait, huh? it's back on. How does your flash just randomly go back on? Wait, there must be something I can read, right? Aha! What's this? 
Children who turn trauma into tales, solitude and anxiety in teenagers part 2. All of the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences and interestingly all of them conceptualized those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed elsewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of the deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, how could somebody do this? What's happening? You're so full of yourself. Your art sucks. Worst I've seen. Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Ah! Jeez! Bro! What's wrong with you? Huh? Think this is a game? I'll beat every single one of you. Cool jacket though. Really cool jacket. I like it. Okay. If you guys excuse me. You, you guys... Oh. Backpacks. Okay. What's this? All your thoughts. Okay. Okay. What's that? Didn't I read this already? I read that already inside the fog. Sorry this for the is late reply. Just I like before. You feeling okay? Good enough to get out of the bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So, is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. Wish she was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So, Maya really is dead then, yeah? Anita, are you okay? You getting enough sleep? Kinda. I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? It doesn't really do much to you're me. You're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. Maya really didn't tell you anything. No, all she talked about was a book she read recently. Still, I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? <laughs> so what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway... I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. Notes on the wall. I can't wait to read more. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Letters. Oh, that. I did a rattle. What is that? It's a cone with a bucket on its head. I have no idea what's going on. So I enter here. I 
door closed, I assume I do. Hello? Hello? Wait. Belief in the Witch of Kettenstadt. Those who believe in the Witch of Kettenstadt share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is its slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather greater theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange in cultural beliefs giving rise to their belief in witches. Huh. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff? Nope. Well, I think there's something real about it. Nothing real about it. <laughs> My great grandmother was a fortune teller. She was lying. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures, but not your own. Okay. Creepy. What's this? Tarot cards. <laughs> no point predicting my future. No fake. If you want food, do what I say. If you want food, do what I say. Chase. Okay. Don't need to be so bloody demanding. In Japanese culture, there has long been a sense of beauty in sacrifice with harakiri, killing oneself by slicing one's stomach. Being a prime example, the idea was that by taking your life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners, with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore, and the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one, where death is needed to protect that life. Well, I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Okay. I think we got everything we needed over here. Alright. Ah, the trash room. Of course. It's a whole bunch of trash. Ah, baby doll in the trash room. It rightly belongs. This is all your fault. Everything. You're a heartless. You stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it, and you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those crap stained arts. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. F off, F off, F off, F off, F off. Get the F out of my life, you piece of freak. <laughs> Jeez. That's a bit extreme. Whoa. Like, do people actually hate each other like that? That's nuts. Alright. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine Orientation. Dear incoming freshmen, welcome to Deutschland Medical University. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most perverse institutions. Its state of the art research facility eagerly waited for your arrival. Orientation details, blah, 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 blah. Okay. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Yep. <sighs> hey, Anita, you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming in. Alright. You okay? 
Yeah, just trying to avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. Nah, no, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. <sighs> oh, I don't like that poster. Ugh. Ugh, that's a creepy poster. Okay. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. He's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school and town showing so much skin. February 21st, 2021. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why, but she wouldn't say. May 11th, 2021. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard. So I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this, this test tomorrow for both you and dad. Oh, that's good. Always good to ace tests. Always work hard and we'll pass it. Okay, there's a lot of stuff over here. Oh, that's a big owl. It's owl. Okay. October 17th, 2020. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can't just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. Alright, time to the bookstore morning. November 9th, 2020. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got cancelled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen. Even if things had worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city, where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Okay. Alright. Everyone's just trying to get out of this place. Can't blame them. This is... Stay home alone! Stay home alone. Hello. What's this? August 24th, 2021. I got some materials from my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so, so happy. I still can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. September 22, 2021. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing. No way. Don't leave me, mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. September 23rd, 2021. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Amelie hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Sheesh. Huh. Young student found dead, possible suicide. Oh, jeez. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18 year old female high school student fall from the roof of a Kittenstadt apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital, but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police still believe a death may be suicide. Ugh. Amelie's not like this, though. Right? Who are you talking to on the phone, lady? Or girl. Okay, time to get out of here. This is depressing, man. Get me out of here. Trash room. Okay.
Okay. Dude, I lost with you. Oh, it's high school. Ugh. School? I don't like this place. Now, this is a horror game. High school. Oh. No one likes high school. I mean, you probably do if you're like very popular, but... Other than that... It's a horror show. Oh, no. Hey, guys! Ah! Jeez, man. Why are you throwing stuff at me? Go away! Yo! Witch. Oh, this is my desk. Freak. No wonder nobody likes you at school. Oh, man. Oh, guys, can you, can you pass through? Oh, it's my locker. What? Your art's fucking you are a weird freak. cocky piece of shit! Bro! Why are they bullying me? What did I do? Who said that? Was it you? Are well, you lucky that I'm not her? I'll beat you up. Do you hear me? Call me that again. I hate this. Get out, you freak! Lie to two. Whoa! What? The? What is this? What is happening? I'm confused. Huh? Why is not a freak? She's my friend. Oh, I'm playing as Maya. Oh no, here we go. Time to run. Time to go. Time to get in there. Time to sprint. Time to go. Ah! 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 He's right behind me! He's right behind me, that monster! Go! Go! Open! Ah! Yeah, I'm claustrophobic! Nope! 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 Not today! Ah! 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 Dude! Jeez! What the flip? Huh? It doesn't help. It doesn't help me. Not one bit. Oh, for Pete's sake. Go, 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 go! Yes! Yes! Chase me now! Why are you chasing me? Chase me now! Not again! Not again! Yeah. What did I do to deserve this? I don't know. <laughs> Find it. Find what? Find it. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. <laughs> what? Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to find? <laughs> exactly. Time to calm down. 
January 31st. I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because mom and I argued this morning. Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates tease me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking the issues out on someone. It's got to be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. Yo, I don't know, man. The girl in this picture is Amelie. Amelie. Okay, Amelie. Not Amelie. <laughs> okay, it's Amelie. I got you. These are also the same, I guess. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Heaven. Amelie. <laughs> oh, mine what? sees you. What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Don't kill me. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. It's Amelie. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Maya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Hmm. Clearly there was some, she wants attention from Maya but she didn't get it. Oh. The library, so I'm back at school. Maya! There's no beauty in any of this. She's okay. I don't think she is. Oh. Where was it? That book. Book. Yeah, the the library is actually very underrated. It's a very underrated location. Like anyway, I'm gonna meet my wife in a library. <laughs> Looks oh. like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. <sighs> no way. We have to go back to the locker. With all those bullies. Great. Lovely. What is this? 
the witch hunt of Kittenstadt. In 1930s Germany, the town of Kittenstadt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind the successful was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German police. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown il illness, and many believed the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claimed that a witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fire as a cover for murder. There is no evidence to support this claim and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. A witch's curse? Yeah. Is that why I saw what I did before? A witch's curse. Okay. Just hit stuff right here. And we just keep on moving. So we have to go to our locker. Where there's a lot of bullies. Which is not good. We hate bullies. Bullies are not cool. If you bully, you a jerk. Ugh. It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? Oh. I've never seen Maya like that before. You are right, Anita? You left me on red, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. You know? You didn't know? But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. Then it was too late. Oh, jeez. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Well, clearly, bro, you can see she's being bullied. Go help her. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. What? That's not true. Bro, you could have helped her, man. So you knew about everything. That's ridiculous. If you guys see your friend getting bullied, hey, go punch up the bullies, man. Nah, what? Uh, what? Liar. Pants on fire. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. Jeez. Oh, in your locker. My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? I don't know your code. I have no idea what the other code is. Amelie's locker. Yes. It's just a novel. Wait a sec. Ugh. What? What do you mean wait? You say wait. Wait for what? Oh, two. Okay, there's a two on the more numbers. One. Two, one. Two, one, three. Two, one, three, zero. Zero. Three. One. Two. I know what's uh, inside. Aha. Big brain. And I can't look away. Open. Here it is. Pick it up. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? I don't know. Let's read. Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? Yeah. To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom 
knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Amelie. Just... me and you. Maya... She was asking Amelie for help. But... I just... Uh. Maya... You have everything! You're way more talented than me! So... Why? Why take Amelie from me? Who acted like I wasn't even there? Amelie is my friend! She's mine! Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She um. she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. Oh, she... How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? Oh, my days. <laughs> what? See, this is why you don't bully kids. It's all your fault. Ugh. Well, this is the guilt you, you live with for the rest of your life. That's why you watch the words you say, man. Going in the right direction. I don't even think anything anyone's chasing me. Is anyone even chasing me? I think they're chasing me now. Come on. Jeez. Okay. I see you now. Juke. Oh. Gotta sprint all the way down again. Okay. Go on. Go on. Okay. Hope I'm going in the right direction. Help! Help! You got a note monster after my ass. 
Come on. Ah, sake. What is that you do? You're gonna cheat this monster. <laughs> Hold that. All you cared about was the Amelie. That's all. Okay. Okay, 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 just keep on sprinting. Go on. Quick fast. Yeah. First try. That's what I'm talking about. Alive again. We still here. Yeah. Point is, don't jump off the building. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shoot. You see, that's what you look like when you jump off the building. Even if I die, this doesn't end. Nope. How many times do I have to go through this? It's many times, so you don't kill yourself. Maya, find it. How can I get you to the game? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? Oh my god. Light over there. Oh, where did my body go? Body disappeared. 4th of Feb, I ended up heading to the roof of the villa, couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year, actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here, all teens supposedly, now the place is famous spot for people to kill themselves, looking down from the roof I could see how high up I was, the thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little queasy, were they not scared, what was going through their heads, were they jumping away from something or to something, I'll ask the same question, Ah, uh, more babies. I don't like babies. Baby dolls. You guys are weird. What was that? Don't you dare go outside. I'm going there. What is that? Hello? Okay. Huh. This is... Wait. Oh, so 
and my mom lived here. This is our living room. It's so quiet. It's so peaceful. Oh, so that's you and the mom, I suppose. December 29th, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after. But it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Ah. Oh, great. We're in a loop again. This is PT. Huh? February 10th, 2012. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22, 2012. My daughter drew a picture of her family with smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than the other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like the heartless woman who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Okay. In your room, huh? It's a nice looking room. Cool bed. Uh March 7th, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I ate when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22, 2012. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. April 12th, 2012. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything will be fine. What's wrong with him? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Huh. I'm Whoa! Okay. Why am I so short? Oh, I'm playing as a kid. I see. Ah, it's alcohol. May 9, 2012. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it. But by the time I get back, I have no energy. May 25th, 2012. I got contacted by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy woman or a-hole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. So how do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I a bad guy? July 15, 2012. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. That's a baby crying. Don't you dare go outside. Miss Krista Planet, we have reached out to you repeatedly, but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remedying this issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code, Article 1631, Section 2, accordingly. The Federal Court has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher, Kittenstadt Child Welfare Center. Huh. Stop. Whoa. Ah, baby doll. Baby doll, get away.
Boy found dead in refrigerator. Oh my days. What? 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 Oh, I was hearing the baby in the fridge. Oh my days. What the hell is going on? Ugh. Okay. Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested. August 4th, 2012. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41 year old mother. Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked his son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. And when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to a crime. What? You just obeyed me anyhow! What? You can just stay in there, in there, in there. Is this Maya? Oh no, it's a note! This is, this is really bleak. Uh, well, I guess we gotta run now. We gotta move. Okay, we have, we have no time to double around here. Yeah? Gotta move. Hmm? Huh? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? I like what I see. To go to the door? Go this way. What? Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, I took him! I really like what you drew me way back. I'll have to find all that. Oh jeez, that's gonna be hard. You're into art, right? You could oh art my days. How did I get in here? Aha! What are you hiding inside? I think we got everything. No idea. Hey everyone. You guys doing well? Cheesecakes. You're way too hard on yourself. Shush. Ah. 
How do I get there? Huh? I think it's the right place. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, it took me ten years. But we made it. Am I gonna be alone forever? Well, I hope not. Okay. Oh, okay. 13th of March 2022 at approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th. Popular graffiti artist C.B. Maya Akko Heidenberg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Kettenstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members but also to all those who are familiar with the work. Authorities believe the cause of her death may be suicide, but given the popularity and lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with full-scale investigation. Wait... She killed herself half a year ago? Yep. Then that means I've been here this whole time? What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. <laughs> Is this... me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. Be proud. So, she did notice me. February 21st. I've been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. 4th of March. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is their despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it will show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Got out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about this. Uh. And suicide is such a sad thing, man. Like, just talk to someone, bro. Whoa. Hello. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. I don't commit suicide again. That's something you shouldn't do. I 
Anita, what's up? I'm sorry, Amelie. I'm such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. That I didn't matter. No matter what anyone said. I didn't listen. Anita? But you and Maya, both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita, wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Anita! Calm down. Just listen to me. I just... Oh my days, you're gonna do it again! Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Wow. Wow. That was a very powerful game, man moving day. It feels kind of scary leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. If this is Silent Hill, hey, I need to play the previous games, man. I never played any before. I need to do that because this was nuts. It was sad. It was very sad, but it was crazy. I mean, they took risks. They touched on topics that people would be scared to touch on, but this was amazing. Well done. If you guys want to see me play the rest of the Silent Hill games, let me know down in the comments down below and I will do so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video for today, because I surely did. Remember, verse of the day is down below in the description. And look, if you guys need any support, anyone to talk to, find someone to speak to, talk to your friends, talk to your family. If you want to contact me, my email is down below. Your life is worth living. You matter on this earth. Even when it doesn't feel like it, you matter on this earth. Please look after yourselves and you are all awesome. Remember God loves you. I love you. Have a great day.